started this round based on what I'm seeing at the spread. It could be an early B hit, though. So early presence in mid outside garage towards the grass position. You see Asana looking to get in there with the frenzy. And that curveball as well clears some space. They've got the dark cover there on the C window as well. Quite typical stuff, clearing a lot. This is a lot of presence and threat towards the C position here, but it's actually going to be a B here. We can see most of the players now making their way into that B side. Brax there for T1 at the back, just giving up the space, doesn't want to take a bad engagement. And now his teammates are starting to make their way across. Skadul starting off the action there, able to take down Asana. Steel tries to defend, and finally, Brax is able to make good of that position back site. We'll get some flanking here from Dyson. He's re it's already on him. He could can be annoying there, the delay them. But we'll have to see if it's going to amount to too much. I think it was really on Dicey there. He was able to deny it for a moment, but it's really not going to work out ultimately. They're going retake C on these sketchy C pops. Although right now he moved to the back site because it's now cleared. Skadoodle prodding A for information. This is very well done early by T1 right now. Yeah, I, I like how we're seeing T1 just happy to give up that plant. They don't mind too much as long as they don't lose too many players. They're really relying on the, that retake ability. And here goes the server drone. Lots of utilities to make that work. Brax with that initial position, looking for any swings from shorts. A very uh, cheeky <laughs> spot there from Dicey for the swing, but that won't amount to too much. And should be pretty good here. Just taunting 100 Thieves there, tapping the spike just for a moment to force a swing. and. They will survive for four players. It feels like this is... We'll have to see if that's going to be impactful. I have the spike. I think Hiko is actually going to be a huge factor in this round. You can see him staying at the end of Longsi. He has his ult still, and he has shock darts in hand. His recon recharging. He is definitely someone to look out for in this round right now. Yeah, very slow after that initial frag and the position gain onto the site. Both teams taking their time. Scar popping. Oh, popping the blades. He's going to pop Nitro in the face. Asuna goes down as well to Skadoodle with that ultimate. So oh much damage. God. He's here to play Hiko as... You might wonder why is no one playing the B site. Now, this is very common in the pro scene. People use Killjoy or Cypher to just hold this site for information and then retake it. But holy, do you see Do you see Cypher's peeking jets like that very often? <laughs> <laughs> that That's is insane. The... And that's the beauty of the cage, that initial cage across, it allows Steel to cross to that position, and is able to defeat sort of where the kind of pre-aim is set up, the cross out placement for Scars, to just give him that slight edge. And now it starts to get a little bit interesting. Four versus four, we've got Dicey moving into the B site, has to dash away, they're not landing those initial blades. Oh, and it's unfortunate that he can't connect anything. He still created a huge amount of distraction, and the rotation in towards that B site, allowing the rest of his team into A with that space to work with for the spike plant. The retake's gonna have to come in, and it's it should look pretty good here. T1, of course, are ahead on players and firepower. Uh-oh, <laughs> that was oh. close. That's oh, going to be a difficult hear. thing, situation here for Hiko to hold by himself. You can see that he hesitated and has to try to back away out of that position. He's not going to make it all the way, though. He's going to get detained. That's they both, they both got detained. detained. No, that's not oh, given. No. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a rough one to deal with. And, I mean, Brax of the map and it's going to be the bot there is going to be called Brax oh! by that short position he goes down Asana able to get the entry that's so important so much presence look at the rotation coming through now AZK pulled away from the C side of the map he's in spawn you can see the chaos that is there for the defenders of T1 right now it allows Steel with this lurk up C to be able to get the spike planted and that will give a huge advantage here now to 100 Thieves massive advantage and that spike location Dear God, that's in the middle of the open. That is a very difficult defuse right now for for T1. Three oh, flashes man. still on AZK. This is definitely doable, but the smoke agent is dead. So keep in mind, they don't really have a very long lasting smoke. Well, so flash is available from AZK's perspective at least. So he could use those also. And it's going to be quite difficult, as you mentioned. Skadil's trying to do what he can here. That presence from Garage, actually, from Asada is huge. But they're somehow getting the frags! T1 able to get all the frags as well, once again, from T1. Skadoodle up on the B boxes. We haven't seen him up there just yet, especially at the opening of the round, and that's going to give them a kill. 
That is confidence there from Steel. Challenging Scar, holding that operator, but he is able to win that battle, and that's going to go a long way as he gets his position now onto that B site. Moving forward, Spike plant comes through Steel, through the dark cover. Brax is waiting for him, though. And that is going to make life a lot more difficult for 100 Thieves because they've lost presence on the actual site now. So they're going to have to try and defend from outside the site. That's difficult. And Nitro is going to try to solve that by making his way around C window. And at the same time, Spider finding a classic kill onto Dicey around Grass. This, this is just chaotic on all of the extremities. Oh my Eco, goodness. he's got the ult. I think he saves his ult. He can't use it here. It's not winnable. So Hiko's going to save his ult here. Oh. oh my goodness. Scar picks up those daggers. That's another curveball through the dark cover to make their way forward. And oh my god, this defense is stunning here from uh, from T1. 100 Thieves can't seem to break through. <laughs> trying to grab the spike. One enemy but remaining. it's going to be dropped straight away again. Scar is looking incredible, man. I, the focus is beautiful from T1 at this point. You're, you're right, Sean. This is so decisive that cam that steel has in the c site could be pretty critical and at least trying to get one kill maybe a tag on a player as his teammates come in for the retake we'll have to see if it's going to make much of a difference there's that tag as steel makes his way forward oh the paranoia is going to last around scar steel will finish him off spider though doing so much damage coming down into the two versus two now hiko and nitro 400 thieves hiko puts the pressure on holding the defuse he's going all the way with this one all the oh. way and he gets it great stuff there from hiko and nitro what a retake oh my goodness t1 we love to see that and this is just so disgusting from steel these players here dancing around, he'll drop himself onto the site to try to proceed to get more kills, keep the pressure on, prevent them from landing that spike plant. Dicey now creating pressure from the heaven position. And indeed, the spike is now going down. This feels quite left. tense though for T1 as they try to hold on to this position. Drone coming through, Spike now just planted, but Asano knows precisely where Spider is caught, trying to reposition. Timing is absolutely perfect coming in on this retake. Nitro there with a double off the Stinger. And Brax on the flank, undiscovered, but now they know. And it's all up to Nitro as he sits on that bomb. And is it going to be a hole? He gets it to halfway at the very least. He's, oh, he's sticking it. Oh, he's stone fake. And that is going to feel awful for Brax, but you know what? You've oh. got to gamble that. Oh, that is hard. How Nitro and Steel are going to hold this hit. Nitro won't get blind, and that is definitely a very big positive. Oh, unreal stuff there from Steel. What a reaction. And somehow gets the next one too. These guys are looking so damn good right now. Oh, that was so beautiful. Prime Gaming, flawless. Near him to support this with a paranoia or anything else. He's, is he going to walk through his own cage? Surely he wouldn't be so brazen. He's getting to the corner. Steel, he's going to try to find a timing for this. And um, will they notice it? Oh, God, he's going to be so careful. This is so tense right now. Steel finds a headshot. He is looking for a second. He'll get taken down. But a chain reaction of events here is off of the back of that frag. We'll find a spike plant from T1 on the B site. Asuna, though, with the hot hands, claiming forward position. As we'll see, T1 falling back and out, trying to defend from the mid position. But they they don't have the flank under control. Nitro is there, causing problems, going in for that window control, and just both sides, every single side is 100 thieves right now. There's nothing that T1 can do to hold this spike. Oh my goodness, living up to their name right now. Dan, these guys gonna be in the head of Brax. Brax is gonna have to turn around and watch this flank soon. I love that he doesn't go to the flank though. As you said, he's gonna commit some resources to deal with the flank, that that's never gonna happen. Great stuff there. Oh, Dicey in with the ult there. The dagger's flying as a dash up drop comes through. That's insane. The right click through the cage. And now it's down to Brax and AZK. And they don't have much to fight with. But Brax sprays him down. And they're all on the ground. I have now. Oh my goodness. Three people in this A site. The, the Phoenix ult coming in. Gets past the breach ult. Oh, Asuna, he can do no wrong in this position. He's set up for success, and he's going to knock every single player down. 
That is just, it's just looking unfair at this point. T1, it feels like they don't get an opportunity to play their game at this point, being denied at every turn. Everything on the line. An omen backsight with a paranoia, a trip, a cam for the retake. This is going to be a very difficult take. Nitro does very well from these positions, typically. The Paranoia sends out. There's the other backside to try to break his cross set placement, and he gets knocked down there by, I think, the aftershock from yeah. AZK. The Hunter's Fury is coming for him as well, so oh, they really yeah. put a lot in taking Nitro down, and they'll be rewarded. But Steel sneaks through. They didn't see Steel coming through the backside. He finds a second kill. The headshots from Steel are so damaging. This still a three versus two here for T1, looking good. Dicey and Hiko, though, get all of them down. Kills before going for that. Still, they're trying to use some dirty cams to his advantage, but the site's been given. Oh, nasty stuff there from Days. The jumping classic to deal with Steel. As Scar's in the side here, holding that forward ground. So it will be a commitment of that spike plant on the B site. The lurk on A has been dealt with. Spiders out of the picture. And 100 Thieves now are four strong with that rotation through Hooker now, through the TP on short A. So they're ready to go for this retake. Lots of presence around the elbow position and sight here from T1 on the defense. We'll have to see if they can hold on to this. Daze once again kicks it off nicely, but Nitro, he time and again, he's been deadly with this ghost. And now Brax sitting there blind on the site in a very awkward position. Back against the wall, nowhere to turn. Nitro is just so deadly. Another headshot goes his way in. System on showers, denied by the hot hands, denied by the dark cover. This allows Spider to get close again. Dangerous here, spraying through the smoke from either side. Look at the investment here from both teams into Shower's control. It's huge investment. Knowing when the dark cover goes away, that works out for Asuna with a double. That's huge. So much investment. And 100 these walk away from the table with all the chips. Yeah, but something that T1 knows from that Shower duel is there's one person on B right now. They know that. Based on the fight they just had at Showers, they know someone has to be watching Short A. The rotate probably came in. So this is all on Steel for the next probably 10 seconds. He goes rotating spawn, and he can't cross unless spawn gets, cr gets smoked off. He doesn't really know what's going on in the site. This is a very sketchy situation right now for Steel. Still a very intelligent play. We'll have to see what he's able to come up with from this Yuka position. The dark cover there is very awkward. He, Oh, he gets tagged there as well. He's going to have to try to find a timing. He goes for the swing, trying to find that timing. It's Asana, though, denying the plant for now. There's only 20 seconds. Asana, again, another frag coming his way. It's starting to look horrendous now for T1. Just Brax left it with 15 seconds to find an answer. But it's Nitro who has that answer, and, and that's going to also cause a lot of problems. Dicey trying to dodge it. He does get tanked by one, but he's still alive. Hiko there from Elbow, also still alive, picks up a kill as well. And this is interesting now, because 100 Thieves actually have a pretty good spot to play their retake, they? or they have this control around Elbow. That's pretty huge. That's massive right now. T1 is going to drone through Elbow. Scott's following that with daggers. This is very sketchy for Dicey. They hear him too. They hear Scott. Oh, he's spider he through the sight. He actually walls him. That's unreal. Oh, Scott escapes after getting dinked there. Eco making his way forward. Here comes the collapse onto the site for the retake. Still there from Hooker is alone against more players. This is going to be so difficult to make his way through. The 1v2 steal falls to Dazed again. And this is just going down. Aggressive setup here on short B, outside of Hooker, Dicey. And he's got a friend, Asuna's there, to swing after the shot. And Dicey gets the re-peak off of that. A one for one. We'll have to see who that benefits as time goes on. We get a couple of cloud bursts there to just enable Dicey to fall back and reposition safely. In the meantime, correct response from T1. They, they, you know, they take the space that's given. They now have the control of Garden as well. But the spike in the meantime is, is around the short A position. And T1, they're going to grab the orb. Damn, they're going to have to fight their way out of this round because they have no smokes left. Ska had to use his last remaining smokes right there to live. The Omen is dead early. This is a hard round. <laughs> Steel. And it's just gotten a lot easier. <laughs> He's so brave, just going through with the cage. Delayed them so much. 
got rid of the run it back, really giving 100 Thieves a lot to work with as they try to prevent the spike go from going down, let alone retake it after the plant. And that's going to be a TP that Brax knows everything about. Dazed as well, holding on as to his position. He had here, we get immediately the blades popped there by Sky. You can see he's trying to find an entry there towards this. Huka position, the paranoia is sent through as well. The dash up draft, Scars is clearing the path, making a way for his team to get into the side here, using that verticality to his advantage. Can't find a frag, there's just so much denying vision around this site, but he's still there, he's still creating space for his team, and he's still holding on to these positions. However, Dicey coming through there, great stuff there from Dicey, finding a second with the operator, able to use that dash to keep himself alive. And this is just an absolute brawl for the site. And again, Nitro, he always finds the back of somebody. Dazed, able to equalize just for a moment as we go into the 1v1. There is a minute to play with. There are so many options here for both of these players. Dazed has the ability to use the recon dart. He's got that drone as well. Clearing some space there towards spawn, understands where his opponent is by deduction. And, oh, that was an opportunity for Dazed. Committing to the plant now. As Dicey bites his time, trying to make sure that he doesn't catch one of these arrows. And Dicey, no fear at all on the peak. That was bold from Dazed as well. You got to give it to him. Boombot before it makes his way into Hooker. It allows T1 to kind of hold on to these spots. They'll throw it on the cage. Okay, Steel is going to create quite a problem there. That's a great pick as Days was trying to reposition, but Spider's going in for more. The Frenzy close range. He's only going to be able to get the that one, though. This is not a bad spot here for Brax. He's trying to play this corner, this angle. You can see that that coverage off the dark cover is working out quite nicely for him as he tries to hold on to this. And they're very well. The player's coming onto his position. That is so awesome to see from Brax holding his ground. Easy to frag. So confident. The jump classic not going to work out for him as we go into the two versus two. But the advantage, in health at least, is certainly with AZK and Skadoodle of T1. And right now, they also have the advantage because they're playing the defense. It's up to 100 Thieves to make their way forward, to reclaim that spike on elbow and find a way to get it planted. This is not going to be easy for them. This is definitely an insanely difficult situation that T1 finds themselves in. 30 seconds well, the left. HP on 100 Thieves is so low. One and they try to make the dash across, oh. and it's not going to work out. And the drone will be sent through as well. Spider looking to try to hold on to this position. I don't know how committed he's going to be. There's the trip. There's the cage going up. Curveball trying to hold it. But Asana with that rocket. The showstopper is going to do the damage. AZK finding a great timing through the TP from short A. Drops the spike. Scars there as well, but Dicey is in position in Hooker. Scar had to worry about two positions, gambled wrong. And the spike is collected once again. Now Brax, Land it falls to him. Landing. It falls entirely to Brax. Finds one kill, the dash comes through. It's just too much to handle. And 100 Thieves pick it up. And uh, deal done in that position, You're definitely, it's definitely got to be a committed play to be at that point. They've got to be reading that. TP onto the site. Left. TP is all over the place at this point, and it's going to be an all-out brawl here as the spike gets planted. Dicey planting default there. And what do we have here for this retake for T1? Scar does have some daggers to work with if he chooses to use them, but other than that, not too much in the way of Ultimus. ACK has paranoia still. That could be huge as a way to initiate the retake here. There's the Hunter's Fury, tied to perfection. Hiko gets at least one. Sky in deep, pulls out the daggers, finds Nitro up on top of the site now, trying to find his way above the smokes to try to get these picks. It's looking quite labored at this point for T1, leaving just ATK, trying to swing on the next player on Garden, but Hiko able to T1. They stack four towards the A side. So, oh, beautiful opening there from Asana. Making it look really good with the satchels and showstopper entry. Ugh. Nothing really that 100 Thieves could do. They kind of gambled on the A setup there. Looking for the retake. Actually, with that headshot, with the rifle, if it's possible to collect it and all that information, maybe there's a chance here for T1. But and with that said, Brax has no teammates left with which to play off of. So at this point, it's about trying to do some additional damage. They will be buying next round regardless. It's a good effort, but this could be it, Sean. 
pick showers again. First gun round of the match. Oh, and he played out the same way, fine. but but Nitro's peak wasn't as good. This is perfect for T1 right now. They need this round. Steel managing to pick Skadoodle out of the air like a clay pigeon, and Steel makes his way forward. Asna over the top of the APC, looking for the flank there with those satchels. Beautifully done. Two versus three now. Brax and Spider on the B rotation. It's up to them now, as the spike still needs to be planted. Run it back there as U-Hawk is cleared. Brax needs to win this frag, but that cage is going to deny him completely. Spraying, trying to find that desperation bullet, but it will be the TP rotation from 100 Thieves here for that B round finish. Spider, he's got a good timing. He might be able to get in there, but just barely denied. He will heal up instead. Waiting for Brax to get into position, but they don't have much help here. Oh, Brax, great read there on that Brax has a cam. Brax has a cam. It's at lone. I believe he just spotted both of them. Oh, what a huge fight by Austin. And Higo closes out the match through the Phoenix wall.